Hey, it's the Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Borek, and this is the next edition of the Beard is Here podcast. It's unfortunately, it is not a positive edition of it as the Sixers got spanked around by the Brooklyn Nets. The Kyrie Irving NKD led Brooklyn Nets since it was on the road. The bad thing for the Brooklyn Nets moving forward is a side note is in only four of the remaining games, which I think is 15, Kyrie Irving is able to play in. So that's just a little side note. Uh, just for how that might affect them in the standings. But this was not a good game. Everybody has their bad games, their clunker games, but this was a massive clunker by the Sixers. James Harden could not get going in any facet. Joel was keeping them in at early via getting to the foul line, but really couldn't get going shooting. And they were playing very good defense, the Nets, as well as cutting off passing lanes. The Sixers were forcing the ball uh, into lanes that were not there, whether they were passing, and they were forcing shots as well left and right in the first half, and then they were just down too much, started coming back a little bit, brought it within tw- um, like 12, 14 points only to give them another 20-point lead, and then have didn't really have any good runs until the, it was just everybody's scrap end of the bench players playing at the end, and they had a little bit of inroads there. So this was just a very bad overall off game by the Sixers. you got to call a spade a spade, and this was a bad game overall by the Sixers. But please continue to subscribe down below, up above on the easy views, which is to keep the channel going and growing. Uh, again, the two biggest takeaways for me are the lack of a shooting ability. Yes, MB was able to drive, drop 27, but he was 5 of 17 only pretty efficient at the line, and then James Harden was putrid in this game, and then you would have liked to see, even though he shot 5 of 10, my issue with Toby isn't his shooting percentage a lot of the times, because half of the time it actually isn't bad, it's more, I would like to see him with the way this team is designed now, Tyrese Maxey, James Harden, excuse me, and Joel, to be able to shoot the rock up a little bit more, like he had that nice step side uh, fadeaway shot in the first half, and he had that nice three-pointer at the end of the shot clock to be able to get some more shots up and create some more space like he did on both of those plays, because then that even strengthens and deepens his team even more, because the one thing the Sixers do lack that everyone has painfully pointed out since the trade is, not, not every one of our fans, I'm talking about like our pundits, is depth on the bench since making that trade. They did bring in DeAndre Jordan. They do lack shooting depth. That came to damn them tonight. Uh, obviously, Matisse Thibel's not going to kill you shooting. And Tyrese Maxey, this was a very rare off game for Tyrese Maxey, who's a rookie, really, in his first full season. Yes, he played last year, obviously, but this is his first full season that they're playing the whole shebang, and there's not any full effect um any more now at this point, really, by the virus, and hopefully that continues to go knock on wood till the end of the season. But <clears throat> tonight, it was just Embiid and Harden, the two studs, they couldn't get it going, and then third, it was compounded by the fact Tyrese Maxey's still a young player. I expect him to have some more games. Tobias Harris has to get up more shots. Ten shots in the game for him when you want to be able to make this perfect rotation where you can have him beat on the floor sometimes without Harden. You can have then Toby and Maxie on the floor sometimes because it opens that up to have Toby and Maxie on the floor sometimes if Toby can get up more shots and score. He's never really scored and shot in the same clip uh, when he was on the Clippers since he's been on the Clippers. And that's obviously because he had to do that on the Clippers. But if he can just kind of get back in the mindset of let me stop overthinking it and just fire the damn rock, that will really help. Uh, the Sixers in tenfold. Toby's basically the Sixers' Travis Konechny for for my also Flyers fans that watch the Sixers. Like, it's just shoot the damn ball, just like with TK, it's usually shoot the damn puck. Stop trying to do too much with it. And that's really what he has to start doing more. Like him fine as an overall player, overpaid player, but he has to start shooting the rock more. This is a bad game by Embiid, a bad game by Harden, a a rare off game by Maxi, And it just costs the Sixers. It happens. Uh, the Sixers are now 5-1 and one with James Harden in. Uh, they've been very good otherwise with James Harden in. Uh, it, it's been four, the, the Nets were 4-8 and eight since the trade coming in. Of course, now they are 5-9. Um, and nine, uh, Or, excuse me, 5-8 five, five and eight, uh, since the trade. So they have 5 wins since the trade came in. Um, and then, so they would be 5-8, and eight, obviously. Uh, and then they have 8. And two for the Sixers, which will now drop to eight and three. Uh, but the Sixers coming into this game were far better than the Nets since the trade. This was just a really bad game. And also, at the same time, I think 
we probably played into the fire. I know everyone's not going to like hearing this, but we probably played directly into the fire of Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving. They love atmospheres like that. They love that type of stuff. And I, obviously, I agree we should have blamed Ben Simmons and everybody, or blame, boo Ben Simmons and all that stuff. But that's a perfect atmosphere for Kyrie Irving and a perfect atmosphere for Kevin Durant to succeed. And they went in there and they did that and they beat our Sixers and it's over and done with now. Uh, the Sixers have to move on and look ahead as they really were not sharp whatsoever this evening as the next game for our Philadelphia 76ers is going to be against the Orlando Magic, a team that they should be able to handle on Sunday the 13th down in Orlando. They're 17 and 50. You can't play down to an opponent. That would be my key to that game uh, for sure against the Magic. But this, they, the solace is they do have a easy team on paper after having this absolute crap storm of a game uh, tonight against the Brooklyn Nets. Everybody have a great saving plus day. This has been the latest edition of the Beard is Here podcast, reacting to a very bad loss by our Philadelphia 76ers. Peace out, everybody, and stay safe.